Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Education, Getting the Most from 3D Content Central. These videos are produced in a series for Formula SAE and Formula Student competitions to help you design better vehicles. Hi, my name is Marie Blanchard and I'm the Director of Marketing and Curriculum Development for SOLIDWORKS. Growing up, I spent pretty much every afternoon working in my father's garage and he taught me a few valuable lessons. First, if you can find a component that already exists in the shop and it's in good working order, you want to use that to save time and money. That's what 3D Content Central is all about. A repository, model library of parts, assemblies, features, macros, and blocks. Standard model files can save you time and money. Some of the components are from our community and others are from our valued suppliers. This is a series of multiple videos that will be shown on how to use components from 3D Content Central more efficiently. So I browse to 3D Content Central and click on Find Content. There you will find parts and assemblies from a variety of suppliers. But let's look at what Formula SAE is specific by selecting on Community Favorites. Here there is an FSAE Components category. I'm going to add this to my favorites. You can customize 3D Content Central for what categories you constantly search in. I want to download some components that I'm going to use later on. I'm looking for a throttle body, so I select under the engine components. You can search just with the mouse pointer by dragging downward. A little bit more efficiently, you can enter in keywords such as FSAE and throttle. Here's the throttle body that I think will suit my needs. Click on throttle body and take a preview look. Use the left mouse button to rotate and the right mouse button to zoom. You can download in many file formats. I'm going to select on SOLIDWORKS 2009 version. I'll tile my windows with SOLIDWORKS open and click and drag the download component right into the graphics window. Be certain to create a folder for your download components. I'm going to select under my FSAE folder and call my component folder 3D Content Central so I know where the parts came from. This part was created in SOLIDWORKS and I see all the features in the Feature Manager. You can also browse to 3D Content Central directly from the Design Library. Click Design Library and click 3D Content Central. I selected my 3D Content Central. Under My Favorites is now FSAE. I'm looking for a steering wheel. There are many to select from, but I want the OMP. Select the OMP and then select the format to download. Tile between SOLIDWORKS and 3D Content Central. Select the folder to download your components. Click and drag the part icon into the graphics window. This is the steering wheel I want to use in my assembly. Again, this geometry was all created in SOLIDWORKS. But what if I select geometry that hasn't been created in SOLIDWORKS? I now want to look for a fuel pump. Download the fuel pump and open it in SOLIDWORKS. Utilize geometry that is imported in SOLIDWORKS. Let's create an assembly. Select Make Assembly from Part or Assembly. The fuel pump is automatically selected. Click OK. The fuel pump is fixed to the origin. We would love you to share your content with FSAE team members on 3D Content Central. Select Upload Content. Enter tags such as FSAE, the component name, and your school name to help in searching. In the next video, I'll show you some tips on how to use 3D Content Central Geometry in your vehicle. To obtain sponsorship for your team, go to SolidWorks.com FSAE. For more information on FSAE model files and more, Go to 3dcontentcentral.com.